What's up, YouTube? What is being a Christian? What's that mean? Just because I go to church? What's it mean? They preach the gospel. Everybody's in different places. But what's it mean being a Christian? What's it mean being biblically born again? What is the gospel? According to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. The death, burial, and resurrection. What is the Great Commission? What is it being a believer? What do all these phrases mean? They mean the exact same thing. The exact same thing. And they're not being preached. It's not being preached. There's another gospel being preached. It's been being preached for hundreds and thousands of years. There's one gospel over here and there's one over there. And then there's all this other stuff. According to uh, Jesus and Peter and Paul, they're cursed with a curse in Galatians 1, 8, 9. Because they preach not the gospel. They preach whatever they want. They preach money a lot of times. Okay? But being able to be born again. If you want to be a Christian. If you want to go to heaven. The first biblical pattern, Acts 2.38. In a nutshell. Preach through the whole Bible. The whole New Testament. It's even preached in the Old Testament. It's four types of shadows of it. Ezekiel, Daniel, I mean Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Joel, and some other dude. Can't remember. <laughs> but uh, Moses even had types and shadows of this new birth, the new and living way. Okay? It's the gospel. There's only one gospel. And Jesus preached it in Acts 1. You could find him talking about the gospel. He's talking about baptism. He's talking about the infilling of the Holy Ghost. John 7, he's talking to the woman at the well, being baptized with the Holy Ghost, talking about the Spirit. John 3, Jesus preaching about the Spirit. What's the Great Commission? John 3, Mark 28, Luke 18, Luke, uh, Luke's 24, Mark 16. Okay? Everything I... Being a believer, being a Christian, being born again, just because you go to church, just because the dude's preaching. There's a lot of preachers that ain't born again. Maybe they're like Apollos, and their, their light hasn't clicked on yet, even though it's laid out in the Bible. I don't know how you can miss this, preachers. I don't know how you have to be... Willingly ignorant, according to scriptures. And some of them are. And according to Romans, some of the preachers don't obey the gospel. Huh, I wonder why that's there. Okay? Hope this helps somebody. I had another video made, and uh, it was a good one, man. It was fiery. <laughs> but it didn't. My phone blocked it. Gone forever. So I made this one. The message is the same. There should be one gospel message. It's not believe on your Christ and you say That's part of it. That is not the whole enchilada totality. Go back and look at Jesus' words in John 3. And don't skip to John 3.16. Start at verse 1. Verse 1 through 8. That tells you right there exactly what it is. Okay? And the first time biblically you see that pattern demonstrated, obeyed, is Acts 2.38 pattern. And then it's you see it in Acts 8. Philip, Paul, not Paul, Peter, John, Peter, uh, Philip twice, the eunuch, Samaria, Acts 8. Then you see Peter again in Acts 10. Not just Acts 2. And they see Paul doing it in Acts 19. He's preaching Galatians 1. If they don't preach this, they're cursed. Galatians 1, 8 and 9. Okay? God understands Apollos that preach the gospel and need more understanding. He understands that. But when he brings your understanding to you and you reject it, like some people that I sent this to and they reject it, that's you. It's on you. Now you preach another gospel, and now you're cursed. See? 
Don't let Satan trick you. It has to be according to scriptures. It doesn't matter what you think the gospel is. It matters what it says the gospel is. And the Bible lays it out very clearly. And I understand a lot of seminaries confuse it. That's why they don't preach it. And they've become antichrist because of it, just like the high priest that murdered Jesus. Antichrist isn't a 666 dude. Antichrist is religious things. Watch my playlists, okay? I go through everything. So there's no misunderstanding. These are not my thoughts. This is, this is the gospel, okay? I'm called to preach and teach, and that's what I'm doing, okay? God bless. I hope you listen. Go get biblically born again. Happy Friday today. God bless. And don't let phony baloney preachers or policies that are, are are still learning, but but they don't have it yet. They need Priscilla and Aquila to come up and teach them the Word of God more perfectly. Okay? Let me be your Priscilla and Aquila, and I'll teach you more perfectly. Okay? Look at my stuff. God bless.